archaeology is a destructive process. Once we have found an archaeological site, we want to explore it in more detail than we have from just shovel testing or uh, pedestrian walkover. Every time we dig a hole, we're destroying the record in some way. And so we want to save as much data as possible, and we do that by saving the spatial coordinates of the things that we find with reference to other things that we find. The best way to do that is to lay out a grid. We use a surveying instrument to uh, record the locations of the southwest corners of each of the, the units. The southwest corner is um, customarily in um, North American archaeology that I've practiced anyway, is always used, if possible, as the datum point for a particular square. So we establish a datum point, a zero, zero, a wooden stake, and then we put a nail in uh, just in case we couldn't find them. Um, we could use a metal detector. This, this point here, which is our um, one of the, the four corners of the grid system that we have set up out here. So if we set up on our grid north, um, and then as we move the scope around, it'll give us the difference from grid north. And what we're going to do is we're going to send somebody out with a prism and go estimate where those pits are. I'll shoot that in and it'll tell you what the true northing and easting of wherever you're standing is. When you look through the scope, the way the rod is calibrated um, uh, allows you to figure out the distance. Left! I want him to walk into the tree. <laughs> in between those two little trees, to your left. Squeeze through! And then you get um, the difference between the, the midline reading and the height of the instrument is the difference in the elevation between the datum point and the southwest corner. And then um, lay out a grid in terms of uh, where things came from in, in space, both horizontal and vertical. So this should be the corner. Since we have three sides, you can just run it from there. We need to uh, be able to be sure that we can go back to the lab and recreate what we have done in the field. So the grid is the first step in, in being able to recreate those spatial relationships between things that is so critical to our understanding of what happened in the past.